Good morning, you guys. I am enjoying my coffee and some word time on this very windy, rainy morning. Well, it's actually just more windy right now. Um, so we are on Nehemiah chapter six. When word came to Sanballat, Tobiah, Geshem, and Arab, and the rest of the enemies that I had rebuilt the wall, and not a gap was left in it. Though up to that time I had not set the doors in the gate, Sambalot and Geshem sent me this message. Come, let us meet together in one of the villages on the plain of Ono. But they were scheming to harm me, so I sent messengers to them with this reply. I am carrying on a great project and I cannot go down. Why should the work stop while I leave it and go down to you? Four times they sent me the same message and each time I gave them the same answer. Then the fifth time, Sandalot sent his aid to me with the same message and in his hand was an unsealed letter in which was written. It is reported among the nations and Geshem says it's true that you and the Jews are plotting to revolt and therefore you are building the wall. Moreover, according to these reports, you are about to become their king and have even appointed prophets to make this proclamation about you in Jerusalem. There is a king in Judah. Now this report will get back to the king. So come, let us confer together. I sent him a reply. Nothing Nothing like what you are saying is happening. You are just making it up out of your head. They were all trying to frighten us, thinking their hands will get too weak for the work and it will not come to completion. But I prayed, now strengthen my hands. One day I went to the house of Shemaiah, son of Deliah and son of Mehetai, Mehetabul, sorry, I'm really not good at these names, um, who was shut in at his home. He said, let us meet in the house of God instead of the temple. Let us close the temple doors because men are coming to kill you. By night, they are coming to kill you. But I said, should a man like me run away or should one like me go into the temple to save his life? I will not go. I realized that God had not sent him, but that he had prophesied against me because Tobiah and Sambalot had hired him. He had been hired to intimidate me so that I would commit a sin by doing this. And then they would, they would give me a bad name to discredit me. Remember Tobiah and Sambalot. Oh my God, because of what they have done, remember also the prophets Noadiah and the rest of the prophets who have been trying to intimidate me. So the wall was completed on the 25th of Elul in 52 days when all our enemies heard about this. All the surrounding nations were afraid and lost their self-confidence because they realized that this work had been done with the help of our God. Also in these in those days the nobles of Judah were sending many letters to Tobiah and replies from Tobiah kept coming to them, for many in Judah were under oath to him, since he was son-in-law to Shechaniah, son of Ara, and his son Joanan uh, had married the daughter of Meshulam, son of Berechiah. Moreover, they kept reporting to me his good deeds and then telling him what I said, and Tobiah sent letters to intimidate me. <laughs> You know, uh, wow. I don't, it's really funny. Like there's a lot, I guess I could say about this chapter, um, but it's like, I, I guess to me it, it, it shows like, what we face in opposition when we're really trying to do something good and how much the enemy will try to distract you with like fights that aren't yours to fight 
Um, yeah. Okay, one thing that really sticks out to me is Nehemiah's perseverance. He is determined to rebuild and and he will do it in the face of death, um, threat, and all these things, you know. But another thing that sticks out to me too is his discernment. You know, um, like he knew that they were lying and he knew that he shouldn't engage with, you know, what they were asking of him just because he knew that they were up to no good, you know? Um, so to me, what this chapter says is to stay tuned in um, when, you, when you're rebuilding your life, which I think all of us are in some way rebuilding right now in our lives. It's a season of that. Um, to recognize, you know, the voices of distraction, the voices that are calling you into something that, you know, is just a fight or um, is not productive and to stay true. Um, another thing that sticks out to me in this chapter too is um, that, that Nehemiah was determined to be obedient to God despite threats and despite even if it cost him his life. Um, that he knew what he was meant to do, supposed to do, what God was calling him to do, and that he would do that, he would do the right thing in against all odds. And um, yeah, this this speaks to me a lot. I I think one thing that if if I can share vulnerably, which I can, because this is my video. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> but one thing that, this has always been an issue for me in my life, is um, really knowing like whether it's anxiety that I'm feeling and whether I'm, fe like whether I'm off in my intuition because of fear or whether something is really not safe or, um, you know, like whether it's my intuition saying that situation isn't safe, that person isn't safe, you know, this invitation isn't safe. Like everything feels unsafe almost right now. Um, it didn't used to. And so that's something that I'm asking God to show me is um, the balance and also the discernment to know what wh what is, oh, there is, a bug on my book. Sorry, you can't see it because it's hidden by my coffee mug. Um, yeah, the bug wanted to join the Bible study. Okay, anyway. Um, oh, it's coming towards me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. You guys. I wish I had a big strong man right now to help me. It's like literally at the edge of my book, trying to like... Okay, let me show you guys. <laughs> See the bug? I don't know. Sorry, my hand's in the shot. It's like, I think it's a spit bug, but it's really big and I don't know what to do. Sorry, yeah, my art stuff is kind of messy. Any artist out there you know, I, I clean my art space every single time and it still ends up so messy. Okay, um, anyway, what I was saying, let me get back to what I was saying. Okay, you guys. <laughs> the bug climbed up the window, so at least he's not on my book anymore. Um, so to finish my thought, uh, what I would say is um, trust your gut, 
especially, you know, ask the Holy Spirit to be your gut, you know? Um, because I think if we can be tuned in, um, then we can know which voices are leading us into a fight, a distraction, and what is leading, leading us into victory. So, there you have it. I will see you guys in a bit. Today is just a Monday, um, just a Monday. Uh, so, you know, I don't, I might not vlog that much more today or at, at all because um, on Mondays I do grocery shopping and um, cleaning, which is not that interesting. <laughs> um, but if you want to see that, I actually recorded my Monday routine um, a few, a couple weeks back, so you can go find it. It's, I think it says something like um, groceries and cleaning. <laughs> uh, my life is kind of boring, you guys. Um, so I just decided that I was gonna vlog for, for October. Um, to try and vlog every single day. So um, that's what I'm doing. Some days are interesting, some days are not, but here we are. Thanks for watching and I'll probably see you tomorrow.